Hey guys, welcome to Cooking with Stephen and Jacqueline. Today we're going to make a lemon blueberry loaf with a lemon glaze. So let's sit back and enjoy the ride. Hey folks, let's go make our lemon blueberry loaf and here's our ingredients. You will need one and a half cups of flour, half cup of white sugar, two teaspoon of baking powder, one teaspoon of salt, one tablespoon of lemon zest, half cup of milk, one tablespoon of lemon juice, one egg, one teaspoon of vanilla extract, quarter cup of oil, one and a half cups of blueberry, and one tablespoon of flour to coat the blueberries with. Well folks, here I have a large bowl and I'm going to start adding my dry ingredients. We are going in first with one and a half cups of all-purpose flour. Next in the party, we'll be going in with half cup of granulated white sugar. Followed by two teaspoons of baking powder. And last but not least, we'll be going in with one teaspoon of salt. After adding the salt, we are now going to mix all of our dry ingredients to make sure that everything is properly well incorporated. After you have gotten all of your dry ingredients all incorporated, you want to set this bowl aside and get a medium sized bowl which you are going to mix your wet ingredients. Here I am going in with a half cup of regular milk. And next in the pool we are going in with 1 teaspoon of vanilla extract followed by 1 tablespoon of lemon juice. A quarter cup of vegetable oil, you can use this or canola oil, any oil of your choice, long as it is a neutral oil. I'm also going in with one egg. Well, now that we have gotten all of our wet ingredients into this bowl, we're just going to give this a quick mix to make sure that everything is properly well combined for about probably two to three minutes. Now that we have finished combining all of our wet ingredients, we are going to add it to our dry mix followed by one tablespoon of lemon zest and then we are going to mix this for about 10 to 15 minutes or until it all comes together and after a few minutes you can see our dough is coming together nicely this recipe was inspired by my old ladies cooking show I will have a link to them in the description box and also in the iCards above in the meanwhile you want to have your oven preheated at 350 degrees Fahrenheit when mixing your dough or butter, you want to make sure and scrape the sides of the bowl when doing this to make sure that you get all of the ingredients properly well incorporated. Well, after about 10 minutes, this is what our dough looks like, a very smooth consistency. Now that your dough has come together nicely, you want to set that aside. Here I have one and a half cups of frozen blueberry which I'm adding to this bowl. I'm also going to be adding one tablespoon of flour and Give it a good mix to make sure that all our berries are coated with that flour. This is to help to prevent your fruits from sinking to the bottom of the dough. So guys, now that our blueberries is all coated with that flour, it is time to add them to our dough. Once adding them to the dough, you want to begin to fold in your berries into that dough slowly. So guys, even though I have used the correct term folding, I am by no means a baker. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and click the post notifications for more. Well, our blueberries are all incorporated into our dough. I'm just going for a 9 by 5 inch bread pan which I greased and floured. This is to prevent our bread from sticking. Now you want to carefully add your dough into the pan and make sure you spread evenly across the bottom. This is to make sure you get some even cooking going on and raising as well. Here I'm just trying to even out the dough to make sure I get it level across the pan and also I'm knocking it against the counter to help remove any of the air bubbles. After doing this you want to put your blueberry loaf into your 350 degree oven and let that bake for 50 to 60 minutes or until when you put a toothpick in it it comes out clean. And in the miracle of time, 60 minutes has gone by and here's our blueberry loaf. And no, this is not me. So guys, we're going to let this cool about 20 minutes before removing it from the pan. Well folks, it looks like Buddy wants some video time. And here I'm just taking a kitchen towel to help remove the loaf from the pan. And here's the bottom of our blueberry loaf and it looks like we have done good so far. 
So let's set this down on our wire rack and move on to the next step. For our final step, we're going to be making a lemon glaze. Here I'm going in with one cup of icing sugar. We're going to take our icing sugar and put it into this medium sized bowl. And now I'm going to be adding two tablespoons of lemon juice. And we're going to whisk this until it all comes together. Ooh, sorry for the mess guys. This is almost like working with cornstarch. It blows everywhere. He wants to mix this until it becomes a smooth syrup-like consistency. If you find it's a bit too thick, you may add about a half a teaspoon of lemon juice again. We are going to continue mixing and we are going to speed it up a bit here folks. Well, after all that vigorous whisking and we have gotten that consistency that we are looking for, we are going to take our glaze and drizzle it slowly all over our lemon blueberry loaf. And remember guys, I am not a professional by any means at all. So after we have finished glazing our loaf, we are going to set it aside and let our glaze set. This shall take about an hour. Then we are going to cut into it. Well guys, this is the moment we have been waiting for. So let's cut into our lemon blueberry loaf and see what we have done. And folks, it looks like we have done a mighty fine job. Our blueberries has not sunk to the bottom of our loaf. This is because we have coated them with that flour. So let's set this up, sit back, fasten our seat belts and get ready for a drive by. Let's go! And here's our delicious looking lemon blueberry loaf with that lemon glaze and it was so tasty. I hope you all enjoyed the video. Like, comment and don't forget to subscribe and turn on the post notifications for more videos. See you all on our next cooking journey and we're out until next time.